What I'm saying is that we are we're making a system here, an experimental system that they use in India that takes your takes this waste this like this. Huh? Yeah. Things like this, okay. you not just throw it in and you make a waste from it and then you throw it inside there. Then it will act as food for the bacteria that will produce your gas. And then okay. your gas will just connect to this okay. and be using it. So okay. we're, we're doing it right in your presence. So um, the moment it's working in your house, we do one for you. Amen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay. Hello. Yes. Ah, okay. Tu m'as pas dit que la mawa. First hole is going to be in the center so we can cut. Okay. It's making a hole. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to make one. This is the experimental part. Yeah. What we're doing is we're making holes to put our bacterial high rise buildings or bacterial hotels to put pipe in that will serve as hotels for bacteria who can live it vertically. Because if the bacteria only live at the bottom of the tank, they'll get too cold and they won't Excuse produce. Me. Wash your back. Wash your back. Oh, is there anything we are going to cut again? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Cut cutting? inside? No. no. I'm going to put on it. The, pipe, so the we... pipe is is down on the bottom like okay, it is. Down, okay, like this. If we cut this here, we'll get two pipes out of this. Can we cut it here? Uh, yeah, let's get let, two pipes out of this. Uh, which, the problem is how much this, do we... What we're doing now is a Solar Cities innovation that we came up with the other day at President Obasanjo's house. We're building bacterial hotels, high-rise apartment buildings for the bacteria to be able to form their biofilms in different temperature conditions. They can migrate to the top, into the warm water, and avoid the cold water. We're going to use the excess pipes that we have, uh, this two-inch pipe in the center, of the lid to the biogas gas collector and then we're using this inch and a quarter pipe uh, around the edges. The more of these you have, presumably the more biofilm you'll get, therefore the more gas. This is a hypothesis that has not yet been tested. Uh, but we believe that by increasing the surface area... Is it free or Yeah, it's got to be free also. Um, what we're doing is making holes so that these hotels... Actually, these are two... Oh, so that these hotels can freely go up and down, although they're not, they're still too Still needs small. more. But the idea is basically that bacteria can live inside and outside these and form their biofilms. And they'll stay stable as the collector rises and falls. This is a modification. The normal India Arti system simply removes the top of the gas collector and discards it. We wanted to find a use for it and a way to provide better conditions for the bacteria. That's what we're doing here. How much waste do you need to put to get how much gas? Uh, the amount that a family of four to six people produces every day will produce the next day between an hour, two hours, three hours of gas depending on the temperature. So what is this family? A family of four to six people. So it's really, it's about two to four kilograms, or let me put it in a better way. You know these small, let me find a bucket to show you how much garbage. Here it is. I have half this bucket of garbage, and I mix it with water. That's enough to give me about two hours, three hours of cooking gas the next day. And most families generate about this much waste from the avocado peel to the banana peel to the yam peel to when you're when you're cooking. If I if I cook the meat now, yeah. How, how what how time long? will you? For yes, how long when, will you get the gas? Gas it will come the next day, 24 hours later. After I cook it, after yeah. 24 hours, I'll get right. the gas. So if you put it in in the morning, the next morning you should have the gas, unless it was a cold, rainy day, and you may have to wait until the evening, and then you don't feed again until you've seen the gas has gone down. You, you use it up and then you feed. If you overfeed, you'll kill your bacteria. And then you have to put more cow dung in and wait. The first, when we put the bacteria in today, it will take three weeks from now until you're getting gas. And when you see the first gas, the first day, you don't feed for three weeks. You say, okay, sit there and get comfortable. Then it begins to produce gas. You say, okay, I'm gonna give you a little bit, maybe this much food waste. Then the next day, this much. Then this much. You can go up to this rim here, but if you do more than that every day, it will Is it necessary to to remove the waste? The one we are putting inside, how does it come out? No, what's, what's going to come out is fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. You're never going to have to get in here and pull anything out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sheoko. Okay. That is, you can use it as fertilizer. fertilizer. You can collect it and use it to wet your plants, okay. your vegetables, Vegetable. your garden, okay. your crops. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is a good bucket size to think for a digester of this size. Okay. If you were to throw your rice and your, your you peeling. Okay. Okay. Every day. Every day. Every if you were to fill it like this. Because you would need the gas the following day. day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But what I would recommend, if you really want to get good production, is yes. that you do half the okay. waste half in, the morning, in the morning and half in the evening. evening. Okay. 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 Don't overburden. Twice Twice, twice, twice a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think you know it, when we think of it as a stomach, it's the best thing. You give it breakfast, okay, I, I you give it dinner. Okay, 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 okay. But there's nothing. If you gave this whole bucket in the morning, it would be okay. It would be okay. No necessary of uh, uh, making too. too Not necessary, but it, okay. it improves it. Okay, okay. So some people are fanatic. They're like, I want my bacteria to be the healthiest bacteria. So I give them a little in the morning, a little evening. Some people just go. Okay, 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 okay. 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 <laughs> but what we're trying to develop is a competition around the world. Yeah, people say, how much gas did you get today? Ah, oh, I got four hours. Oh, yeah. I only got three. <laughs> oh, what did you do? Well, I said there are people who like they monitor the pH. You know, the acid level. They yes. take the the litmus paper and they go. Hmm, it's getting a little under seven. And they put a little sodium baking soda to keep it balanced. And then other people are like, no, I need to... I mean, you can get crazy about this. Like people who keep fish and they love their fish. They feed them just so. How big are they gotten? These will be your pets. Pet bacteria. Seeing so the big thing that's happening now is people who have these are seeing that not only do you get fertilizer and gas, but you can also get industrial chemicals from it. Farm Pharmaceutical chemicals can be processed from it. You can process, uh, one company we visited in Seattle is making perfumes based on the chemicals that are coming out. Some are making plastics, some are making um, various chemical compounds for sale. Because what you're throwing away in your food waste is all of the chemicals of nature. There's iron, there's zinc. There's calcium, there's magnesium, there's phosphorus, there's sulfur. There, everything is in your food in small quantities. To go back and be getting cow dung. Okay. okay. Are you, I, I think you get it. Okay. That's once. So the they never go. Only if you kill your bacteria do you have to go back and get cow dung. Okay. So Just how do I know that the bacteria are already dead? If they're making gas, they're alive. If they stop making gas, there's then, only one of two right possibilities. Dead. One, it's very cold. So wait until it's hot again. After a few hot days, if they're still not making gas, they're probably dead. So then you have to get some more cow dung in. But you don't need to get that much cow dung like before. It's just they're going to... Just to make sure that you have substrate of one which the bacteria are already there. You see, because these bacteria are found in, even in the intestines of cows. That, so the, for you to have something that will be living on the food waste that you are giving them. So once they are no longer there, the cow dung is supposed to help you introduce new bacteria. New bacteria. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And once they are now there, on a regular basis, the quantity you may be having will just be enough to crush and throw in. And some people in Germany have this t habit of every month they throw a little bit of cow dung in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people even throw human shit in. Okay, yeah. Say, ah, I need to get a source of bacteria just to keep genetic diversity going because mm -hmm. otherwise the bacteria they sort of they get old they're reproducing yeah, they're making right. babies yeah, but the genes down. never change yes. so it's Germans good to get a new yeah that grew up so in its natural environment yeah you don't need this With so fire. Yeah. Yeah. that yeah. means anytime you want to remove this one it cannot be removed yeah that's anytime that's, you want to that's, that's, do we need it. to remove it no you shouldn't no, no. If, and if you had to remove it you would just cut the pipe yeah we cut yeah. the pipe. Yeah, yeah. new pipe. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. you don't know this. Or, 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 or we can, or, or or we can do something. Yeah. All the upper part, mm -hmm. let's expand them. Yeah. Yeah. Then the lower yeah. part, yes. use a nail. So that if you need to remove by any way, it will just be removing this nail. But do we this need to remove? You don't have to yeah. remove, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. remove it. Yeah. 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 So just one meter. Where's the elbow? Okay. Yeah. 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 Give me a measuring tape so we can standardize. When we're feeding it, we want the weight of the water here to push the food down and then come out fertilizer on this side up here. So my usual uh, my experience is that if you go at least eight inches, if you're at least eight inches above, it tends to drain well. 